we should make the most satisfying simulated render. One more! One more! Hopefully, I can get it all done in time. Peter! Which one is the winner? I think it's time to let everybody know. I was really jealous last year because while I was away, these guys got to have a ton of fun making the most satisfying renders. Like when I saw those satisfying renders, I thought, you know what, it, it's just as satisfying to make them as it is to watch, so I had to be in. I, I feel like, Sam, it's, it's great to have you on this one. It's gonna be awesome. My goal here is to make a render so satisfying it lowers everyone's heart rate, especially your Sam, because I know you got two kids and you know your sleep just ain't what it used to be. In my opinion, the two things that the last challenge did really well, having them loop is great. You watch it, you don't know where it starts mm -hmm. or ends. It's just a perfect, infinitely looping image. The moment you see one of these things cut, you're like, Ugh, it's like jarring. And you're back in reality. Uh -huh. Your heart rate goes through the roof. From here forth, all satisfying render challenges will always loop. The sound design is very important to getting that like satisfying feeling. So we, we definitely need to like not miss that this time as well. So the last renders were really cool, but one thing that was missing was physics. Satisfying things can be made by hand, but when you watch nature take its course and deliver you something beautiful and satisfying, it is, I think, one of the most purest experiences a render can give you. For this challenge, we should try our best to make the most satisfying simulated render using motion and using physics specifically. It doesn't matter what it is. It can be particles, it can be rigid bodies, it can be soft bodies, it could be flaccid bodies. Flaccid, <laughs> flaccid body. bodies. <laughs> a flaccid body simulation is one of the hardest goals to achieve as a visual effects artist. So you're saying the bulk of our animations can't be hand animated, they have to be simulated. Yes, like take, take the artist's hand out of this, let the ones and zeros create the satisfaction for us. That sounds good to me. It sounds like a good challenge. My expectation on this is to be able to like, I want to learn something along the way so that we just get a little bit better and can make better videos after this video. Today is Tuesday and we're going to watch these renders next Monday. And that might seem like a lot of time, but we have a dozen other things to do other than this in the meantime. So we're going to be sneaking in minutes on this every chance we get. Hey! What are you doing guy? here? Are you guys doing a render challenge without me? No, no, we were just doing, um... Oh, Clint, Clint's gone. I gotta check my oil. I like oil. Hey, have you guys seen Ren? No. I'm just trying to find him. Ren! Ren? Hi, Ren. Oh. What you doing up here? So they told me to wait up here on the roof until they're ready to do the render challenge. And so I thought while I'm waiting, I might as well listen to a book. I've got a pretty good one that I listened to recently and I want to tell you about it because this is sponsored by Audible. Audible is the leader in spoken word entertainment. I've listened to almost a hundred titles on this platform at this point. I love it. So a recent one I listened to is called An Absolutely Remarkable Thing by an OG YouTuber named Hank Green. You might know his brother, he's done books. So this title basically starts off with 64 robots showing up across the world. Now I'm not saying they're aliens, but aliens. So the main protagonist of the audiobook, she finds this robot and her and her friend make this YouTube video about it and then the next day she becomes like a viral hit. It touches on a lot of things that felt a little too close to home about like insecurities and how social media corrupts the mind. The book is incredible. I literally listened to the entire 10 hour book in two days on Audible and speaking of Audible, they just launched a new plan called Audible Plus. You get full access to their Plus catalog which is filled with thousands upon thousands of originals, audiobooks and podcasts, including ad free versions of all the shows that you'd normally have ads on. So with the Audible Plus membership, you can download or stream without limit, and of course, you can also do offline listening. Anytime, anywhere. To get your free 30-day trial, all you gotta do is go to audible.com slash quarter crew, or just simply text quarter crew to 500-500. Again, just go to www.audible.com slash quarter crew, or you can use your little smartphone -y thing, and you can text quarter crew, one word, to 500-500, and you'll get your free 30-day trial. 30 days free! All right, Ren, well, good luck up here. 
Good luck with the book. Thanks. Uh, just make sure you let me know before they start the render challenge, or send someone up here. That'd be great. Yeah. Good, just, good luck really with the book. Good luck with the book, man. Good luck with the book. So last time I bit off way more than I could chew and ended up getting points off because my render quality was just crap. But this time, I learned my lesson. What I wanted to do was make something that justifies satisfying sound design. All right, so a singing bowl, I don't know the history of this thing, but basically you give it a little tap and then you gotta like do the little. In yoga, they'll use it for what's called a sound bath, which is just like a really weird, I don't even know. I just like the way it sounds. That's probably the biggest inspiration of this whole render. All right, so I just had an idea I'm pretty excited about. I was messing around with this cool new feature that Blender just got where you can take a smoke simulation and turn that into geometry, polygons, points in space. And I did like the most basic smoke simulation and I noticed it looked a little bit like a mushroom. So I was thinking, what if I use this smoke simulation to mesh converter to show plants growing in a really psychedelic way? Like for a tree, I have one smoke simulation just going straight up for the trunk and then a bunch of little particles flying out the sides for some branches and then an explosion at the top for the leaves. So I'm gonna dig my fingies into Blender and see what happens. My son, Gideon, great kid. He loves food, Cheez-Its, peanuts, goldfish, graham crackers. He's great at eating them, not so good at keeping them in the bowl. So I'm on my hands and knees pretty frequently with a little vacuum. While it might seem like a strange thing to be satisfying, well, it gets quite satisfying. And I think that's what I'm gonna try and recreate. I'm gonna make a CG vacuum that cleans up dust and creates the cleanest carpet. So I've been playing around with the smoke to mesh function in Blender, and it's been working out pretty well. So I think a nice render would be kind of a slow camera move through a forest of these weird little smoke simulation plants, watching them grow and act all strange. So I think my next step here is to make a couple smoke simulations that mimic trees, plants, I'm just gonna make my own little library of smoke simulations that I can then populate the forest with. I, I need to see how these physics systems work. I've never really done anything like this, but I think using X particles, I might be able to do it. Gravity, okay, gravity. So, crumbs come out, boom. Yum, yum, yum. Someone just ate a cracker, and that's the crumb. <laughs> All right, and now, suck them up. They're definitely going there. All right, I'm on my way. Last time, my loop, was not successful. It may have appeared successful, but if you really looked at it, nah. Basically, in order to get this thing to loop, what I did was hand place all of my bowls here, all my singing bowls, and then I added them into a cloner, and it's being cloned three times down the line here. So you're getting like the exact same pattern three times. I'm taking my camera, and I'm moving it down along the z-axis at a very specific rate. Everything's based on the math, right? So you wanna break up everything exactly. So for instance, my camera's moving negative 2,800 centimeters on the z-axis, so I'll take my cloner and I'm, and I'm making sure that I'm moving my new clones negative 2,800 centimeters on the z-axis. So everything kinda lines up. So I'm lighting my scene with two area lights. Now if I just left these area lights in place, the first frame wouldn't match the last frame because the camera is moving, but the lights wouldn't be. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually throwing these lights into my camera. So the camera and the lights are moving together. That way the first frame is exactly lit as the last frame. If you can get your first and last frame to match perfectly, then everything else in between, you can do whatever the heck you want. I think the, the core mechanic here of these vacuums is working. It looks satisfying. So piece by piece, I'm gonna render out a bunch of different sets that loop into each other here, and I'm just gonna populate this with interesting objects now. So I got my scene all blocked out, and I've started adding in my smoke simulations, but I've hit a bit of a bottleneck. I'm going to need a lot of smoke simulations for this scene where there's a bunch of vegetation growing and things like that, and each smoke simulation is taking way too long to do. If I'm going to get this render done in any amount of time, I'm gonna need to switch over to a faster solution. So I've been using Embergen, which is this new software that runs smoke simulations on your GPU. It's way faster, it's basically real time time and it's amazing. So I'm gonna jump over to Embergen and make some smoke sims. So for physics what I did was I cut out these little like grooves in the concrete portion of my render and I pushed these metal spheres down the chute kind of like a little bobsled situation and it's all physics based. 
which I could have cheated easily, but I didn't. Just for the record, I didn't cheat it. For the, all the textures and stuff, I'm using Grayscale Gorilla's Everyday Materials, and I'm using some of my own surface imperfections that I created for the metal spheres to give them a little bit of smudge and scratch on them. And if you guys want to know how to make your own surface imperfections, I actually have a YouTube channel and a video dedicated to exactly that. I walk you through the entire process. It's actually a lot of fun. So I've been playing around with these smoke simulations, turning them into foliage, and it feels very percussive. And so I was thinking it might be fun to create a little music piece and have the video go along with that. So last night I sat down on my keyboard and I made a little song. And the next step is to bring that song into Blender, kind of map out the scene a little bit so I know where things are going to be and what it's going to look like so I can save myself from doing a bunch of work that's not going to end up in the shot. Putting all my renders into sequence here, I rendered these out in the order I started working on them. It, they, they iterate. They get Each one gets a little bit more complicated as it goes. It's, it's turned out, I think, pretty cool. I, I don't have any sound for it. No, that's kind of a requirement, so hopefully I'll sneak that in at some point. It's just It's just going to be this the whole time. I'm, oh wait, I'm totally going to do the sounds with my mouth. Screw them. It works! It works! Dude, it freaking works. That's so cool. I'm gonna render the high res over the weekend and I'm gonna come back Monday morning and do the sound design. Hopefully, I can get it all done in time. Satisfying renders to me are a relaxing thing and I tried not to get too stressed out about how intense or satisfying it was and just make something that came naturally. You know, I, I don't wanna stay up to 4 a.m. doing this. <laughs> Peter! It was a late night. I was up till 5.30. Oh boy. I don't even know if this is good. It just, it's really weird. Final day, dude. I'm doing sound design. I'm trying to create different versions of a sound, and I'm trying to stack them together to make an even nicer sound. I'm trying to figure out this program called Paul Stretch. <laughs> Look at this. I can stretch a sound out. Look at this. I can stretch this sound out. 59 million years. <laughs> what? <laughs> I rendered this at like like 540p, it's god, it looks god awful. Hopefully it finishes rendering on my home computer. I can upload it using my crappy Wi-Fi. It's time to do some sound design. Hopefully I finish it in time. I know I'll finish it in time. These stakes are garbage. Guys, today's the day. Myself, Sam, and Peter cranked super hard over the last couple days to get our satisfying renders in, and now is the time. We have two gentlemen here, which we will aim to satisfy. Let's see if they are satisfied. Hey guys, what's your current heart rate right now, Nico? Yeah, I got my heart rate. So right now I'm, I'm sitting at a cool 70, now I'm at 66. I'm gonna get this boy to 50. You're gonna drop this man's heart wow. rate to 50? I'm gonna put Nico in the hospital. I'm taking him down to 38. So at the beginning of this, I said I wanted to compete because rendering was just so fun and pure and innocent, but I lied. The reason I wanted to be in on this challenge is because last time, Peter on a computer. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Wait, is that computer still up for grabs? I am going to win that computer back today. No, <laughs> no, no, I'm not going back to the 10 whatever. Get, Ren, get out of here. Ren, this is invite only. Why are you here explicitly against our orders? I just wanted to see your guys' renders. So you're just here to, you're just here to, I'm just here to look. I'm just, just hang on the background? Around. Yeah. Stick around. Maybe I can satisfy you. Sam, I bet you could satisfy me. Can you satisfy me right now? It'd be my pleasure. It'll be Ren's pleasure too. <laughs> You'll make him feel good! I can die 
satisfied finally. This looks so good. This is something you want to watch over and over again. Yeah. Dude, your colors and your textures mm -hmm. and your sound. This one's wonderful. And the thing is like, not only is it beautifully rendered, it's the classic like focused, single action, great sound design. But for some of the Sims, it's all about like they clean up every single object. You somehow made it so like every single thing gets sucked up. At least since we are judging and being, you know, critics on this, I was actually thinking the times, the two times where it missed made it less satisfying. Ooh. Just because I mean, I, it looks like the marbles just got missed, so that made it a tiny bit less satisfying for me. But otherwise, I think I was at nine or 10 and then 8.5 because of that took me specific out of it. But for Nico, it was more satisfying. 10 out of 10. Ooh, standing ovation. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> Peter, yeah, the winner, the returning champ. Dude, this is, uh, you guys ready for some 240p video? Oh, dude, that's what happened to me last time! What did, that's what happened to me last time! Here we go. Some, uh, oh, it's something. I don't know what it is. I, I don't even know if it's good, but it's at least something. And it's done. And it's ready to show. So here we go. All right, there you go. It's pretty nice. Okay. The palm trees, to I totally just realized, were like kind of like explosions. That yeah. Shot up. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is. A, it is a perfect loop, and I like the whole symbolic. You know, forest gets burned down and it grows up again. But it does feel like more like a longer music video type thing. <laughs> oh. 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 So. If you ever took like a drawing class in like high school and there's the one kid that just does their own thing and they're really good but it has nothing to do with the assignments, the teacher struggles to like figure out how to give them a grade. It's kind of the situation we're in right now. <laughs> Peter, I'm sorry. I'll give you a six out of ten. I'll keep it in the six to seven range there. That's fine. I, und I understand. I'll take it. No hard feelings. This would have been a lot more satisfying if you had the render settings turned up a little bit. <laughs> oh. I know, yep. I know. Hey, if you wait till the end, you might see the non 240p version of this render, who knows? If Sam got a 10, that means the only way I can tie with you is if I get a 10. Or an 11. All right, here we go. page reddit stuff for me. <laughs> I'm too distracted by how photoreal this looks to be satisfying. I'm just like, wow, look at the detail in every single one of those bowls. Yeah, it's a, it's just a, a flawless render, straight up. This is the best render I've ever seen Clint make. But as for the satisfaction, it's just kind of stick spinning over bowls. <laughs> <laughs> What, I, I, what can I do, you know? I feel like for something to be satisfying, something needs to be changing, like dust being wiped off a surface, or like soft bread being sliced by a sharp knife. I'm gonna have to give it an 8.5. It's a 10 out of 10, out of 10 for me. 
Shoot. This is a tiebreaker. This is a tiebreaker situation. Guys, hold up, hold up. I had an idea for a shot. And I couldn't, I couldn't let these guys swiggity swag their way into the finish line without some competition from yours truly, so. They don't know it yet, but I made my own satisfying render. I ended up just coming to the studio yesterday and did the entire shot and I was up all night doing it. So I have been awake since yesterday. You can't keep me out of this challenge! You can't keep me down! Look at this right here! Oh. It's a flash drive! Whoa! It's you can't do this! You can't do this! <laughs> you can't do this! No! Don't play it! Really good. I love this one. Yeah, this is this like... is super cool. I love the like the rainbow bread. This is a luxurious render. This is great. I don't know if it beats the singing bowls for me, but I'll give it a eight 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 point nine. Eight point nine. Eight point five. Sorry. I mean, I'll take the eight point nine. <laughs> you gave an eight point five, huh? Look, Ren, this is really good. I'm gonna give it a nine. All right. There has to be a winner. You gotta choose. What are we gonna do? What do we do with the tie? All right, we're gonna come back down and All when right, we do, we'll back with one of you guys is getting a 3090. Yes! <laughs> oh, I was like joking. I was gonna buy one regardless. <laughs> well, it's still kind of like buying one if the studio pays for it. Plinths looked really nice, but we're talking about satisfaction. Something about it being like an intricate, perfect clockwork I think would have made that system work, but it's not really an intricate, perfect clockwork. It's just kind of a bunch of bowls with the spinning handles. Just looking at it, Clint's obviously realistically looks perfect, but I, I could agree there could have been maybe one other thing that really pushed it over the edge. So my only dock is Sam's like glitches, but I don't know if that makes it less satisfying or not. Which one is the winner? I think it's time to go downstairs and let everybody know. All right. Christian and I thought really hard about this, and then we stopped thinking, and we started feeling, and then our hearts spoke to us. Sam, congratulations. Ah! Wow. I knew wow. you could do it, Sam. You satisfied so, me. This is about satisfying each other, all right? And, you know, I'm just happy that I brought you that satisfaction you crave. My so, oh, I'm hitting 58 right now. Dude, um, I'm at 86. All these renders were very satisfying, Peter. I really look forward to when you complete your render. I would really like to do this again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Yeah. Yeah. I really want to do this again. If you guys want to see another satisfying render challenge, definitely subscribe. Like this video. Leave a comment down below. If you would like to see the final renders in their most pure form, head on over to our Instagram page at Corridor Digital. We have them all up there. Share them with your friends. You can stare at them for hours. Whatever you want to do, it's a good time. Also, we post other fun pictures and videos. Imagine that. Corridor Digital on Instagram. Wow, guys, thanks. This means a lot. Um, Peter, uh, just show me where you leave your computer and I'll snag that. I'll wipe it tonight for you. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Yeah. It's done. I'm actually working on the Luke Skywalker toothpick right now. Um, yeah, I know, I know. Don't worry. We, there's more videos. Don't worry. We, we got a we got one on the back. All right. This sucks. Hey, this game's pretty sick.